Can I ask you something? What made you pick me? I liked your picture. You had this sad look on your face. I felt sorry for you. Damn. I wanted to just write two human beings um, who are very different, who walk through the world very differently. But it was also sort of a bit of a statement in that we're all more alike than we think. And we all want the same things. But even though we may have a different definition of what those things are, like happiness, legacy, um, you know, uh, spirituality. And, and I, I really wanted to just really draw these two characters that were, one was sort of more modeled after Martin Luther King, one was modeled a little bit more after Malcolm X, um, and then how I could have them sort of swap places by the end of it. Queen, when we find her, initially, you know, she's a woman who has built all these walls around herself. She's allowed the sort of the circumstances of her life to forge this person. The person that has forged in the fire is this person who has a lot of walls up, is a lot of exacting, is, is using excellence and education and, and intelligence as a, as a way to keep people out and to keep herself from having to be vulnerable. And I think for her, it's really, she goes on a journey to vulnerability and it's because of this man that she meets and this relationship that he ha that she has with him and this horrible situation that happens. Slim was like, I didn't feel that he changed. And I was really having, struggling with that. I was like, well then what am I playing here? What am I, how, am I, how do I start the beginning of the journey if I don't feel this? And then, um, and I realized that's the point, he's constant. Do you know what I'm saying? He, he is, he knows who he is and he is who he is. It's very rarely do you, do you get like in the first like 15 minutes a character say exactly what they want. And the growth that I found was by the end, he, he um, the love that, what the love that he finds in the film, he finds some defiance and rightful defiance by the end of the film. I wanted it to be a meditation on the full black experience. You know, uh, we don't get to walk through life in kind of one way. Uh, I love the script because it is genre bending and it straddles all lines of the medium. Uh, it starts out as, as a rom-com and then it becomes a horror story for many. Uh, and then a beautiful love story that has also these really, you know, incredible comedic moments and then very much a drama. Um, and I think that's how we walk through life. Right, so I wanted it to be a reflection of an authentic experience. I started in comedy, television comedy writing. Obviously, people know that about me, and so I I like to have you know a, a light moment. I like to tell jokes, uh, and so I didn't want to prevent myself from being able to do that in this story, even though I knew it was heavy and I knew what we were doing. But I thought there has to be room for that, for levity, for joy as well. And I'm so happy that from the reactions, people are like, no, that was surprising, but also welcomed. And then it also helped, it made the, the darker moments hit uh, harder. And that was really, it wasn't necessarily the goal, but I knew that our lives are composed of lightness and darkness. And if I could kind of find a, a balance between the two, uh, I would have been successful. And, I, and I'm happy that people laugh as much as they cry and they cry as much as they laugh. But ultimately, I really wanted people to connect with Queen and Slim.